this video we are going to discuss about the factorial program in java and factorial as we all know factorial of a number is the product of all the positive number less than or equal to the number and the factorial of any number for example n is represented as n factorial like this and for example if we need to calculate the factorial of 6 then how can we do that it will be 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is the product of all the positive number less than or equal to that number so this is positive and equal to that particular number that is 6 so that particular range of values will be multiplied and generate the factorial the multiplication will generate the factorial of 6 which is 720 so now we want to execute a java program with the help of which we can calculate the factorial of any number so to take any number firstly we will use the scanner class to take the input input from the user that for which number he or she wants to calculate the factorial next what we're going to do is we are going to pass that particular sc is the object which we create of scanner class so we're going to pass that value into the num and we use the sc dot next int method to pass that particular value after that we are going to make a function naming fact and this is a user defined function we are defining it so firstly we need to do is we have initialized a variable already in factorial let's say and here we are going to decide and here we are declaring a function naming fact and it is having a parameter that is num num is going to be calculated here now when this particular factorial is called what it is going to do it is going to print that the factorial of the entered number is this in the sop statement it is going to write that the factorial is and then it is going to print the factorial which is generated now this is fine okay this we do in basic programs also next how can we do that with the help of recursion and what is a recursion basically so what we have to do is firstly we have created this function but we must know that what this function is going to execute so firstly what we do is we will do static int fact int n this is the function which we created fact n and int is going to have the output which is going to be displayed so we have initialized integer data type for that output next we are going to execute a conditional statement that if user has entered the value of n equals to equals to one then what will be one factorial the positive number less than this is itself only so one factorial is one so it is going to return one if the user enters one as value then it is going to return one or else what it is going to do in the output the variable which we have initialized here output is equals to fact the function n minus 1 into n it will execute and return the output so this particular is known as recursion now what is this recursion recursion is a function calling itself when a function calls itself then it is known as recursion so here you can see the function is calling itself again and again to generate the next number which is to be multiply until the positive number value reaches so that particular is known as recursion that output is equals to fact into n minus 1 into n so again and again that function is going to call itself only here you can see there is fact n static int and here the function calls itself only fact and minus one here you can see the values are decreasing decreasing that is six five four three two one and it gets multiplied and that stores in the output so this is how we can calculate the factorial of any number with the help of recursion so now let us execute this program also and see that how it so let us execute this program and see how it works so here you can see that I have written the code which I explained you. This part is much clear to you that 
using scanner class to call a new number and then what we have done the passing the number to num and then we have here called a function that is int factorial fact num that is going to if this particular function is called then what it is going to display next here is the recursion of the function which i have explained you as i execute this particular program which i have saved as factorial dot java it is going to ask me that enter the number so firstly let us enter the number 6 and check that yes we have calculated it correctly the factorial of 6 is 720 next if you want to check for any other number you can run this particular set of code again for example if i want to check for 12 then it gets you to the factorial of the entered number is this this is how you can calculate the factorial of any number with the help of a java program